Welcome everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Deborah. This is Prusha Intuitive and these are our morning messages. So I'm going to start lighting a little Palo Santo, clearing the energy, the vibes, so we can really just tap into what is the highest and best message for ourselves today. These messages are intended to be inspirational, heart honoring, giving us guidance and direction if we need it, or just kind of giving us that little boost of inspiration that we all need throughout the day, or especially in the morning. It really sets the tone, right? That's why I love doing it. So I thought it would be a fun thing to invite you guys into. And I appreciate you showing up and giving the support. All right, let's get into it, guys. What is the highest and best message for the collective? These are collective readings. So they're general, you know. If it resonates, then you know it's meant for you. Otherwise, don't worry about it. There's a lot of great readers on YouTube. Sometimes we have to ask the question first, <laughs> right? Okay, so the altar priestess. She came out yesterday. So kind of, I'm really hearing like, you know, taking the time, taking the extra step and protecting yourself, saying that prayer, saying that intention, you know, like I just talked about, maybe setting aside time first thing in the morning to center, read something inspiring, connect with yourself, etc. Adding that intention is going to be really beneficial. The well watcher. So, you know, this is like some type of abundance it like reminds me of like when we throw pennies in the well right and we make a wish but I also feel like this is someone who's watching you there is this element of wisdom that needs to be had with this person place or thing let's see what else comes up Ooh, the fire print so someone coming in Perhaps this is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could also just be masculine energy, regardless of the gender, right? Um, but, you know, masculine energy is very active. It's, um, you know, likes to push things forward, push the, push the agenda, optimism, aggression. Maybe someone who is being a little bit aggressive or trying to force you to make a decision, such an interesting dichotomy between the two, right? We get the altar priestess who's definitely connecting with her spiritual side in order to call in that protection. And this guy, <laughs> he's like, well, I'm going to make this happen, right? Like someone who is kind of, um, I do feel like they've been watching you. Someone who is trying to like manipulate the energy Manipulation can be a good or a bad thing, but that's really where this like wisdom comes into play. You know, so for some of you, it will be a good thing. Some of you, it's going to be more of a lesson, a learning curve. I find it like a lot of clarity when I take my time, when I'm a little bit more patient. And if someone's pushing you in a way that doesn't feel comfortable, it's like, a sure sign that mm, this might not be a good thing, right? Queen of Pentacles, being really grounded. She has that level of patience. She's abundant, right? Because she knows that you do have to wait. You have to plant your seeds. You have to water your garden. And then you wait to see what fruit bears. But you're not going to, you know, pull off something that's toxic or infested and eat that, right? <laughs> Sorry for that weird analogy, but true, you know, you're going to throw that away. But then something, sometimes you get that piece of fruit that is, 
imbued with so much fire. Like it reminds me of when the vine has to work extra hard in order to make something like so succulent. And it can be, it can be seductive. It can be delicious, you know. So this is watching thing ch things change through the, like there is some chaos that's coming in, but I feel like it's not affecting you as much because I see this as you're remaining incredibly grounded and stable in what you've built thus far. You know, hence the altar priestess. You might even be doing some earth magic, getting out into nature, walking around in your bare feet. That's so good. <laughs> I love that. And the change is happening, but it is happening through the upheaval and through the chaos. And it might be with this fire prince, right? with someone that either was causing chaos in your life, bringing chaos to your life, someone that you cared about very deeply, that lovers is such a strong bond. It is that bond of the masculine, the feminine, you know, but we, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, and there comes the devil. And I was literally just gonna say like, we can love someone so much, but if they're showing up in that way, if they are trying to control and manipulate the situation, we have to be grounded and practical enough to know whether we want to put up with that BS for our life or not, you know? Looking at it from the eyes of what is highest and best for you, your own victory, with the six of wands. And sometimes we have to make those choices no matter how much we love someone, you know? But this is this can be a very dangerous dance. It is playing with fire. It's not maturity. It's born out of that passionate response. The back and forth, the up and down. But that kind of goes back to where it is our decision if we want to keep putting up with that, right? I think sometimes we do have to diffuse the emotion out of it. It's going to make them think for sure. I feel like you're bringing a message to this person that they're not 100% expecting. And so now they have to figure out what their best path is forward, especially if you are shutting someone down or saying no to something. Very interesting. So it's like a, um, you know, for them, it becomes a dichotomy. Like, are they going to stick with tradition stick with the moral and responsible way to handle the situation or are they going to be operating out of their own selfishness and for you you know <coughs> excuse me you're keeping yourself very protected not wanting to get back into anything that is throwing you off, right? That devil. That devil has kind of been the make or break of this situation is what I'm hearing. And I feel like you have to have these boundaries. They don't want it to look that way. They have a different agenda is what I'm hearing. And that's why there is this importance for you to be very honest, clear, and decisive about what it is that you want. And I feel like this actually came up within the other morning messages, like this need to be really clear on what is right. I think that was on Friday, right? What is highest and best for us? Because when we get clear on that, then we can make those decisions that are harder to do out of confidence. 
even if we do love this person or we care about them or they have something that's attractive to us, etc. Like we still have to be cognizant and aware of what lies underneath. Even if you just like met this person or this situation, it's basically just talking about like filtering it through that wisdom of like, does this all add up? Is it too good to be true? You know, do I hear little lies or inconsistencies? And sometimes, yeah, that is like a little scrutinizing and critical. But when we are investing ourselves into something, we're allowed to be, right? We're allowed to, you know, see whether or not um, it is for us. And if someone is being sneaky or lying or having bad behavior, it always comes out. It always comes out, right? Seven and seven. Sevens are this, it's kind of like a little bit of an unstable number because it's like kind of getting over the hump. It's like Wednesday. What do they call that? Hump day? <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, but just like, I don't know, this person being sneaky, not being honest, not being... um too emotional, 11, 11 on the clock. Being too emotional, like kind of, I, I feel like they self-sabotaged is like the cleanest way to say it. They self-sabotaged this situation. They probably know it. And they're probably tr trying to come back in to put things back together or move things forward from where you left off. But really, their bad behavior is kind of like what led to the downfall in the first place. And I feel like you're a lot more cognizant of that now. Yeah. And so you might not be making a decision today about what you're going to do about it. But a decision has been made about the level of where it's like, I feel like things actually come out, you know. It gets put on the table. And, you know, I don't know that this person has the strength or the integrity to... I'll pull one more on that. I don't think that they have the strength or the integrity to see it through. I think this is hard for them. I think it's not an easy thing for them. I'll say that. But they have this habit, this pattern. Those things that hurt instruct. Ten of Swords is also about like repeating mistakes over and over and over again. I feel like you've learned your lesson from this situation, from this person. And you're making different changes, right? Regardless of whether you care about them or not, it's important for you at this point, at this space, to have your success and your victory. We all deserve to be living a life that we want. We'll know if we're being selfish. I don't get that vibe, though. I think it's more this other person playing with fire. Hence, <laughs> the fire prince, <laughs> right? Yeah, sometimes people, I don't know, they just push and push and push, right? Instead of having a conversation or coming from a place of honesty and integrity. So it's just surrendering to the process You know, especially if it digs up old wounding. I do think they need your um, love and support in the way that you can give it. Forgiveness. Even if it is just saying that, but still stating your boundaries. I think that is, you know, coming from a space of integrity. Again, we dictate how we show up, you know, and we can appreciate if someone has an honest conversation with us or, you know, even if they haven't been honest in the past, we can still say thank you and, you know, but we still have to be very clear in who and what we want, you know, it's rising above. It is being that altar priestess, using the intuition, allowing things to unfold as they will. Such a vibrant energy, you know, letting love kind of be that ultimate gift, but knowing how you want to show up 
how it fits into your life and if that's really something you want to include. So guys, I hope this message helped. I'm sending so much love and blessings your way. Thank you for tuning in always. Big thumbs up if it resonated. Drop comments below. Let's build and grow the community. Enjoy your day. <laughs> sending lots of love and blessings your way. Oh.